In today's After Effects tutorial, we will be creating a nice and elegant looking title animation inside of After Effects without using any kind of third party plugins. We will be just using shape layers and some simple text. It doesn't matter that if you are an amateur or a professional, this tutorial is for everyone. This tutorial is also inspired from the Create Pack by Aloha FX. The Create Pack consists of more than 3600 plus animation elements which are very easy to use. As simple as drag and drop. Just one click and you have your animation ready to roll. Which will definitely save you a lot of time. So if you want to check out the complete Create Pack, I have mentioned the link down in the description box below. So make sure to check it out. I am Nikhil from Dopemotions.com and without any further ado, let's get started. So let's go ahead and select our text tool and type in the text that you want. You can of course type in anything that you want, but I'm going to go with the example like Justin Hawkins. And then I'll select this one, make it white. So we have a little bit of color, different color into our text. I'll align it into the center just like so. And you know, let's keep it italic. That looks pretty good. Then I'll select the rectangular tool and we just need the stroke for this. So I'll keep the stroke at around 20 pixels for now. I'll make this white, hit OK and create a box. Maybe 20 pixels is a bit too much. I'll make it 15. Yep, that looks much better. Again, I can align it into the center just like so and change the color to the same pink color that we want. Hit OK. There we go. Let's rename this to let's call this maybe box and let's start animating this thing. So I'll hide the text for now and let's focus only on to our box. So let's go to 30 frames. Going to rectangle one rectangle path one. Unlink this and bring that down to zero and this one down to zero as well. Let's increase this actually to somewhere around let's go with 710 looks good actually so let's keep it right there create a keyframe on the size go back and set this to zero so we have a pretty simple animation as you can see and then i'll go at one second and 30 frames and increase this up also turn on the text so we can see it and i'll make this 150 pixels that is looking good maybe let's go with 160 yeah much better so now we have a pretty simple animation now let's select the keyframes and hit f9 to easy ease those keyframes go into the graph editor and try to create kind of a peak now if your graph editor doesn't look like this you can right click and select edit speed graph so i'll try to create kind of a peak into the center just like so same i'm gonna do with this one as well there you go so now let's see our animation and as you can see it's nice and snappy and that is what i'm going for pretty good now as the box you know expands i want the text to appear as well so what we can do is we can duplicate the box so hit select the box and hit ctrl d to duplicate it i'll rename this to mat and let's use this as a mat for our text so we don't need any stroke for this we just need the fill so i'm just going to keep it a white fill and then select the text layer and let's add an effect called set mat now i'm using the free after effects script from video copilot that that is the effects console if you don't have the script again you can go into windows effects and preset and type in the effect that you want but i'm going to use this script for the rest of the tutorial so make sure you download it the link will be again in the description so in the set mat option you can so in the set mat option there is an option called take mat from this layer so i'll switch this to mat that we just created and hide that mat and now we can animate our text very easily. So let's go at one second and 30 frames. Select the text, hit P to bring down the position properties, create a keyframe, go to 30, 30 frames and bring that down just like so again. 
select the keyframes hit f9 and the same exact thing and for this thing i usually use my keyframe wingman script which is again a free script from animation composer so if you want you can download that as well again the link will be in the description but who are new to after effects using script can get a bit um you know difficult for them so i'm just doing it manually so you can learn better so i think this is looking pretty cool now let's move on to the next section so i'll go to one second and 30 frames and what i'm going to do is let's again duplicate the mat so it control d to duplicate it i'll call this horizontal m that is horizontal mat for hm and i'll go into contents rectangle one rectangle path one and actually get rid of the size animation so now we can all right so there we have our mat let's increase the height a bit and bring down that size a little maybe somewhere around there should work good so let's go to three seconds create a keyframe on the size go back to one second and 30 frames and let's actually animate the width so i'll set this to zero select this and this time i'm going to use the keyframe wingman you can of course use the graph editor as i showed you guys before but just to save some time you can see it does the same exact thing so just to save some time i'm using the keyframe wingman and now we have something like this all right and then what we can do is select our box layer and add a set mat to this select the horizontal mat and invert that up also hide the horizontal mat and now we have a pretty nice animation that is looking good let's again select this hit control d to duplicate it i'll call this vertical mat so v underscore m for vertical mat turn that on let's select this and hit u so you can see the keyframes go right here get rid of those keyframes and what i'm going to do is bring down the height and increase the width actually just like so maybe a bit more just gonna eyeball it and yeah let's create a keyframe on the size go back to one second and 30 frames again and this time i'm gonna animate the height so i'll set this one to zero select the keyframes and select the keyframe wingman to just add the same exact curve so now we have something like this now let's hide this as well add a new track mat to this or you can simply duplicate this so i'll select this and hit ctrl d select the vertical mat and there we go now i think the vertical mat is not proper so i can play around with the size just to make it proportionate just gonna eyeball a bit and there we go that is looking super cool now let's do some uh, a little bit of you know kerning adjustment actually not kerning but the tracking animation of our text so i'll go right here go into the text properties and animate and add a tracking so where it is the tracking create a keyframe on the tracking amount go to three seconds and let's bring this closer just a touch maybe minus three or something like that should work select this and apply the same animation so let's see yep as you can see this is looking pretty cool and then i'll go to two second and 30 frames create a new null object i'll call this maybe scale also align it into the center i'm using the move anchor point script but if you don't have the script you can just hold control and double click on the pan behind tool to align the anchor point into the center and i'll hide this for now let's select all the layers and parent them to the scale that is our null if you don't see this parent option again you can right click go to columns and turn on the parent and link option so let's select the null object hit s to bring down the scale properties create a keyframe go to around two second and 30 frames and bring that down to 95 just a little so now we have a little bit of scale animation as well and there you go there you have 
your very nice minimalistic title animation inside After Effects using shape layers and text. So, you know, as you can see, it's very easy to create. Now, in case if you don't have that time to create this animation or you don't just want to use After Effects, you just want the animation, you can use this animation from the Create Pack. So if I go into my Windows extension Motion Bro, I already have that up and go into the, the create pack which consists of number of different animation you can go into the title section and there you will find number of different title animation as you can see so this title animation as i told you guys was inspired from this create pack you can see there are number of different title animation that you can select from and this are very easy to use all you need to do is if i just hide them all let's say i like this title animation all i need to do is hit apply so it's going to take a few seconds to load up the animation and there you have your animation boom in just few clicks so make sure to check it out the link will be down in the description in case if you want to purchase this pack and i will see you guys in the next video till then take care thank you so much for watching and always stay raw stay creative